Today is Friday, 4 p.m. after work for both of us with Gwen and we are getting ready to another work. Today is a special day for all the men around because I have solution for all of you. May some of you experience cases you will tell your partner that you are going to spend the weekend somewhere but you still don't know what you are going to do. And there can be cases that you will decide to go for hiking, but your partner, your wife, girlfriend, don't expect that. Then she will get mad at you because you did not tell her and she could not prepare proper clothes. So today, the first time in my life and during a relationship, I told Gwen to get ready for the weekend where everything can happen hiking working diving going to the theater balls celebrations balls? So, I should so if any idea will come on my mind to do during the weekend gwen cannot get mad at me because she's supposed to be ready for everything but today, i will just bring the whole house there maybe what about that you're welcome <laughs> You can. I'm pressured now. Like, what's the specific clothes I should bring? Like today we are going to work, so no need to think about it that much. <laughs> it's been like one hour already. <laughs> Stop. Gwen is You're under lying. the huge pressure and still not ready. And it made me realize one thing that during those almost two years Gwen has spent here in the Czech, Re Czech Republic, she accumulated a huge amount of clothes. What will you do with those clothes when we go into the Cebu? Bring it. Huh? Yeah. You have 23 kilos allowed to bring on a plane. Maybe can I put some clothes to your back? Yeah? <laughs> can I? No. So many of those tops will be left here. I'm gonna give it to my friends then. Sure, sure, sure. I will wipe your tears. <laughs> <laughs> I should bring it or else I will be selling it. You bought it in the Ukai Ukai and you want to sell it again? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, please. I'm begging you. I'm upset right now because he doesn't allow me to use an elevator and I have so many things with me. Because I'm lazy to walk. Now I'm wondering if Jacob is really a straight guy. It's because as I can see here all the cars that are parked all the wheels are straight. Straight wheels, straight wheels, but Jacob's wheel is not straight. You failed. <laughs> I'm the only one who succeeded from the, all these people here. No? Yeah. Why? It's not straight, can you see that? Yeah. It's not even straight. And the other one is straight, but it's not straight. And other cars are straight. And there is a reason for that. You will find out what's that reason. So what's the reason? What do you mean by that? But when you're parking there, you're putting your wheel straight. Yeah. But now it's not, so why? Because there it's not possible, but here. What do you mean it's not possible then? Here, I will release the brakes and the car stops and in the case you would forget to release your handbrake in a steep hill or some failure would happen you will park the car you will going home and then during some circumstances the car can start moving by itself and what will stop the car the car in front of you but if you will spin the wheels this way, I will be stopped thanks to the stone. So this way guys you can prevent your car from running away. Does it make sense? Who is stupid? <laughs> Who is stupid? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, he's right. Makes sense. Hmm. I'm really amazed how smart he, he is. Unlike me, I'm not that smart because I had a horrible experience happen to me today. If you can see my knee. <laughs> 27 years old woman is still falling on the ground because of clumsiness while walking. So. Don't lie to our viewers <laughs> and tell them how it was. Like what do you mean how it was? I, re I, was, I was really walking and fell down. Tell them the truth. Like what's the truth? Tell them or I will. Like what do you mean by that? Gwen is so much focused on her fashion that she doesn't care what could happen. And today Gwen was wearing very nice white long trousers, very baggy. One of the sleeves of the trousers, because it was very long, <laughs> went stepped on it and fell down. But luckily, luckily, she looked stunning while she was falling down. And that's important, to look stunning when you are having accidents. I fell down. And the mother, like I was, I fell down and I rolled uh, roll on the ground because the road was going down and the mother was running to me with her two kids and telling me are you okay miss are you really okay did something bro broke in your body like no i'm not but i was so embarrassed because so many people saw it and i was like full of confident when i was walking with makeup on and so pretty woman but falling on the ground and my head also had some a little bit of and it's so crazy like i'm so clumsy like everywhere like i don't know why like oh why i'm like this i hate it everywhere i always hit myself with something i have a lot of bruises i burn myself with hot water and all the stuff that's why jacob is worried of me if i'm really doing great job at school because you know i'm taking care many kids and I don't even know how to take care of myself, how much more taking care of other people. So there might be accidents happening in the kindergarten because of me. But I'm doing a great job in the kindergarten. I always make sure that my kids are safe all the time. I don't care if I'm not safe, as long as they are safe. That's very nice. Yeah, because whatever happens to them, it's my fault. It's always my fault, even if it's not my fault. That's why I have to be extra careful. Currently, we are transferring to our workplace with Gwen. Gwen picked a regular bicycle and I have electronic bicycle. But Gwen is a pure biker. Look at her. She's province woman and she knows how to ride a bike. Yeah. Enjoying. Yeah. I do. I do? Easy. Easy. Even Easy. kids can. Zdravi, dobri den. Even kids? Yeah. In the Philippines? They have bicycles? Yeah, not really. <laughs> so guys, here we are. Working hard. The today's <laughs> task is to transfer all this coal this task is slavery. So the, ah, <laughs> slavery. And he's, here is the tired boss. Tired boss. <laughs> and now we are transferring the coal to the basement. Yeah. Show your face, and who will be the dirtiest today means is the one who was working hardest. And Gwen is very clean. Because we agreed that each two rounds we will get a hydration. Yeah. So this division is having it much better than the division there in the front. 
Quiet. Because we knew we are the only ones who would appreciate this division. And if Gwen would find out that we are drinking here, she would be mad. But she will be mad once she will see this video. Yeah, probably. And she will be Probably, mad. yeah. But this moment we will enjoy. <laughs> She knows. No, she and doesn't know. Everybody knows. <laughs> so we did a great job today. We <laughs> finished. Finally. There's always success in teamwork. I don't like. What's Look the, at Kuba. What's the crazy thing? <laughs> we are in my friend's house. Yeah. And it's my friend, his mother and his grandparents and they were very concerned that Gwen was working here. <laughs> like and they were keep asking me, is it okay for Gwen? <laughs> like she's like she's working hard like with a shovel <laughs> and she will not she's not keen on that but deep inside they know all of us here me, my friend, his family, all of us haven't experienced the hard life just like Gwen did. None of us here in Europe haven't experienced the hard life like Gwen and other Filipinos did. And this is just a little piece of cake, but the mother was like, is Gwen okay? And she needs water and she needs <laughs> not really sparkling, but slightly sparkling water with mango. <laughs> and Gwen was bitten by a little wasp and Gwen needs a lotion. cream lotion. <laughs> lotion. I'm not even tired right now. Yeah. But I'm not even tired. We've been, I think, an hour and 30 minutes or almost two hours. But for me, it's just a piece of cake the thing that I was working on when I was a kid, I grew up working in the river shoveling the sand and also the gravels for us to sell it because in the Philippines there are businesses like that as well where people are going to buy and the government is just allowing us to get those um, sands and gravels in the river so that's where my father's um, way of living before for us to buy the things that we need in our house so i was helping starting when i was maybe around eight years old up until i was 16 i was doing it by hands working with hands with my father with my brothers for us especially summer so shoveling and doing this stuff is just a piece of cake for me because i am used to it way back then in the philippines and it was like one truck for the sand costs in my time it was 1000 pesos and the um, the gravel the one truck for gravel costs 1500 pesos so we were working more than eight hours a day up until night and sometimes my father had to go there in the river 3 a.m started 3 a.m to get away from the sun because you know working in the afternoon is also too hot and sometimes we're working at night so it's just a piece of cake and it's really nice for me this kind of work i was able to, i'm not even sweating and it's so surprising <laughs> so we are done with the work and we have to take a bath in the river because if we will take a bath in the bath it will be very dirty all of you guys should take a bath outside and i feel very sorry for what am i going to do right now but this is this is necessary that's how he is now Karma hit you. He, l <laughs> he lost the <laughs> Karma hit him. He lost the so. No, Karma hit you. <laughs> it's your Karma. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> It's your 
karma. What is that? to find the soap but he can't find it let's go i'm cold i've lost the brand new soap in the river so we were not able to Baby, careful. to perfectly clean ourselves we your... so we have to take a bath again Kuba's parents' place. His parents are arranging a big party here in the garden. Ahoy! And now, since Kuba's dad is a chef, he's preparing a roasted sheep. And it will be my first time ever tasting a roasted sheep. Party! Smells nice. Like morning, there will be unlimited beer. Unlimited alcohol. <laughs> and unlimited foods, of course. His father is also preparing, I mean, having this kind of garden and it's also one of the best things about European people that they love gardenings and you can really see a lot of different types of things in their garden. It might be flowers, vegetables, and so many more. Baby, how did you like the sheep lechon or lamb lechon was it like a pig lechon pork lechon no it's really different i thought it would taste like a goat it's but not a goat it's a sheep but sheep or goat are the same family are in the same family again sheep and goats are not in the same family like family brother i mean and the same species of an animal i mean they share the same species i think i would say because they're like herbivores and they're eating plants and they're all the same i guess so we can say the sheep is the same like cow no because sheep are small just like goats mm. doesn't make sense but yeah uh, i thought it would taste like goats but when I taste it, I realized that goats are more like the smell is even stronger than the sheep and the taste of the sheep is really different from the other animals and I could not describe it. I don't know, but it tastes different. That's true guys. Those of you who've tried eating goat meat, it has very intense smell and it's very hard to get rid of it during preparing the meats the lamb or the sheep meat it's not really that much intense the structure of the roasted meat or cooked meat is quite similar to pork but the taste is different yeah it's like very different now i understand why sheep is the most chosen animal in the bible because it's something that is indescribable. I don't know, like the taste is just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just different from the other animals. Sheep is in the Bible. Yeah, sheep is the, is being used by God and he, sheep is used by God as describing himself or other people. Like we are also described as sheep. Sheep is the most favorite animal, animal in the Bible. It's the sacrifice alum and is the purest animal in the Bible. Hmm. Interesting. I did not know that. Gwen could teach us a lot about the Bible. <laughs> a lot. She knows all it. those poems and articles. It's not poem. Or so what's that? Those are Bible verses. Verses. Sorry. Those are not poems. Those are those are like real life stories and phrases from God too. Verses. I'm really not educated about this. Gwen is Christian and I am atheist. 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 But you believe in God. Mm, I believe in that one theory, panspermic theory, which says the God made 
those first cells in the earth and those cells started evolving and going through the evolution up until today's view of human, animals, plants, trees, everything. But the first little cell ever was created by God, but then it's being continued like an evolution. So you believe in God still? So you're not atheist? Mm -hmm. And I thought I could, I would really marry a Christian guy. And now I married an atheist. Don't do opposite. Atheist guy. But I don't really force him if he doesn't believe in God or not. I'm not the kind of a Christian who forced their partner to be in a Christianity religion. But I would love to maybe share the Bible. And if he's interested about that, I would be very happy. If he's not, it's fine. No, Gwen is not. She just forced me to read 10 pages of Bible a day. But no, fine for no, me. it's not. It's not. It's, that's not true. But the party of my parents was over yesterday, it was Saturday, but we did not attend because we went with my sister to visit my cousin and her fiancé there we spent the day and then we came back home to my parents' place, the party was still going, everyone was drunk, but we were trying, or me, I was trying to avoid drinking again. And today, Sunday morning, we are early birds, it's 8 am it's an early like it's so rare for us to go home early yeah the earth times jacob is sober and gwen <laughs> was craving to go for to some asian restaurant to get some asian foods but everything is closed so yeah. we went to the grocery asian store we bought ingredients and gwen is going to make an asian foods yeah yeah i'm being called to the kitchen because gwen Finish. It's actually a breakfast, but the clock says it's supposed to, to be lunch. <laughs> what are we having? Filipino pancit. Good. And I'm gonna cook my own rice. Uh, pancit carbs with carbs. Gwen is already a big girl because she has her own rice. This is a different kind of noodle for from Asian. It's a Vietnamese noodle. Gwen <laughs> just dropped a flower I gave her. As we say here, the shattered glass or ceramics brings luck to your life. So you will be lucky. And this time we have to end this video with not really happy moments. So guys, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more. If you are eating your lunch or dinner or breakfast, enjoy your meals. Hit the like and subscribe button, the notification bell, so you will be always noticed. And see you again next time. Bye bye.